today I'm going to talk about some someone that most of you know and that is Satan and um, I'm going to to uh, uh, speak uh, something against Satan before I start to talk about him because I feel that immediately when I say Satan uh, I feel like a spirit come and um, I'm going to talk about uh, how to defend you from him now I I want to take a little help of him when I talk about him, but I don't want him to touch me. So I'm, I'm talking about Jesus' blood, and the cross that Jesus died on, that is a killing weapon, and um, and the the one that really help us is the blood of Jesus. So th that's what to say to defend, to defend you from Satan is to say that that you, uh, your your veins inside your body there is running the blood of Jesus, because we are. We are brother and sister with Jesus. We have the same blood as him. So the, we can say to Satan when he come forward and say that, go behind me, Satan. That's what we can do. And um, not uh, only in words, in the way we live our life that uh, he can't touch us. Uh, it means that, uh, when I say touch, it means that he come so close, he can come to our, to us. And I have, um, I have seen him coming out from people, for real. Uh, not, uh, not a, a a whole person, but his ugly face I have seen coming out from people, and um, and in that time I didn't know how to defend me from him, but today I know that Jesus' blood is what help us and. Uh, that woman, Dolores, that I was uh, living with, I rent a room from her, and her father was a satanist and um, satanic. Um, I, d I don't know what they call it, but like a king. And um, but she, in the same time, she she was a double faced. So she both was the, the uh, Satan and he, she was also from God. And so she, when she was this uh, kindly woman, a godly fearing woman, she told me once uh, when, uh, when she turned in to be a Satan and she tried to kill me, and uh, a, a man in that rented a, a room in her house come out and helped me. So she couldn't. And after she understood what she had done, then she told me how to take away uh, Satan in our life. And, uh, and she was total crazy so she have uh, uh, been painted all her doors with a red cross 
on the door, but the the cross is a killing killing weapon, so that's wrong. If you only have placed a red color on it, it have been better. But uh, you don't need to paint a door uh, with uh, a cross or red color from top to to the bottom. It's only uh, Satan see it. You can only do a little red dot in the uh, in the corner, so people don't see it, but Satan can feel it that you have done placed that. And then uh, is it also the salt to spread in your home if you feel th- that you get visit from Satan? He don't like salt. Uh, blood and salt and uh, they are uh, they are the, almost the same because the blood is salt also and um, and in the bible they say that we should be the salt on earth so that's a defending thing and then uh, you should repeat Many times a day when you feel like everything go wrong, that something evil is going on in your life, you should say that many times that Jesus' blood is in my veins. Because because uh, we are brother and sister with Jesus. And one day when I, I, say, I sit in the morning at my bed and and took on me clothes and it is a relaxing time for me I'm not really uh, sharp in my brain uh, in the mornings Uh, it takes about one hour before I start to be okay in brain so uh, in that time, um, the spirits can reach me, and um, because uh, things I should do in the daytime have not coming into my brain yet, so there is an open door. So God have talking to me uh, in the mornings uh, a few times, and the one. One time, God was talking about Satan, and He said that that uh, there is a place at His throne. Uh, we know what that on the right side there is. Not Jesus; it's Jesus Christ sitting there. You see, with a white hair, a white beard that sit on the the right side of God but there uh, when it's a right side it's also a left side and it's not those goats that is talking about it's a it's a place for uh, what you call antichrist and um, the people wondering who is Antichrist, and who is going to sit on the left side of God? But God told me that, and um, He said that He told me about uh, Jesus having the keys to heaven and hell, and uh, Jesus is sitting. Jesus have His throne in hell in Hadas Um, he he have a room there and that's where he he was uh, going down for three days after he died he was in in hell and that was uh, the bible is talking about uh, graves we laying in the graves 
and waiting for to come to God to be called up and uh, you know that uh, when Jesus died there was many that that uh, come out from their graves and that in in uh, like a symbolic event that told us that Jesus is going down to to the graves to hell he's going down there and those people that this is what God explained for me uh, those people that is very close when they were on earth when they were very close to come to know the truth but they don't really come to know God but they have the heart for to know God and uh, so they were very close to make it to heaven and those people is, is in the grave is in hell and this is people that Jesus rescue and he bring them into his room in in hell so they don't go into the lake of fire they are lay they are in Jesus throne room and wait for to come to heaven that's what the bible talking about laying in the grave and wait but they don't lay in a grave like a human is digging that's a human made grace and, and for God uh, is uh, for the spirit things is it's not a man man made grave that's what we need to have because the body is rotten and it can spread uh, illness virus and bacteria and kill people uh, so we have to dig them down in the ground six feet <laughs> as it's so popular to say in this time in December 2020 I, I'm talking and um, it is uh, and uh, Jesus he's, he can walk fr uh, he can go from heaven to hell and from hell to heaven and he can take with him people up to heaven you, you know I have talking about this that uh, the spirit it's no time in heaven so it doesn't matter what time it is Jesus is going to take them to heaven it can be any time and um, so that's uh, there there is no time frame it's no time at all when they're talking about laying in the grave and go to heaven and um, and, uh, and God is was talking to me that Jesus is going to do his work on earth not uh, what he did with his apostles uh, with his disciples that was one time but he's coming back and he is going to clean up first is coming uh, god's angels is coming down here and that's what is going on just now in my home that they are coming the spirits uh, and the, the, that is the angels even if I don't see any wings on them uh, do I know that is the angels that is coming before Messiah before Jesus is coming and uh, and he going to to clean up here on earth and uh, when he have cleaning ups did God uh, told me when Jesus is 
have clean up here. Then he go up to heaven to God, to his father, and give back the keys. And then he sit on the right side of of God on the throne. And uh, and when uh, Satan see that he's de- defeated, that he, he is losing his grip, losing his power here on earth. And uh, the power that he thought he had, and the, he was going... He was falling from heaven because of greed. And that that word, greed, is what the the worst sin we have on earth today. And that uh, was Satan that brought with him to earth. He was greedy. He wanted to be like God. He wanted to be before God. That's why God is talking about to not have any God before him. And that's uh, what he wanted, Satan. And so he was very greedy. And uh, when he fell to earth, he also took with him the greed. So... That's what we we see today, this greed about uh, get all the powers. And the power is to be seen, to be, uh, be seen as uh, success, be famous. That's greed. That's a kind of greed. Uh, and uh, greed is to also make war and take take land and there's mo- many kinds of greed that's going on in this world and um, when he, when satan is not seeing that he see that he losing the power then also the greed is falling off him he go and he go back to god and uh, he he sit on the left side of God. Now he answer me. Because that's true. And um, and when he sit on the throne, he also make sure that his children never gonna hurt us anymore. Uh, Satan is going to fight against his own offspring. He's going to fight against his children. And that's what he do. And that's how he be clean from what he have done. Because he's going to fight against all evil that is not on, only on earth. It's on in the universe also because we we that have a brain we know there is there is um, beings on other planets we can't we can't see earth our planet like the only planet that have uh, smart people people with brain they maybe not look the same as us but they have brain and they have maybe because our planet is quite young planet uh, so there is older planets and more advanced planets in the universe and some of them are evil so Satan is going to clean up the whole universe from his, or if we can call them relatives, his children. 
they are they are coming from somewhere. They God was not created for this planet only. God was created for the whole universe. So as uh, our planet is young, then uh, we can think this is a theory. It's not, not what God has told me. But I see it like that that uh, that uh, it have going on the same thing on other planets and um, I am very interested of the brain and I'm very interested of technology so th that I have seen on this program that um, uh, researchers uh, science men and women they believe that that one day uh, those from the past our relatives our family all the, those that have been on this planet once uh, they are coming back uh, they return not all of them but many of them is returning just now as you can hear in my episodes that there is like uh, relatives to me coming back and talking and uh, they are now uh, the the space center they are uh, they are looking, listen at uh, the universe for to hear some sounds. And there have been sounds that they can't explain what it is. And, and that is the start of coming. It's, um, the universe is not... Uh, without limit there is a limit on at uh, on uh, in the universe and those what have been in the past they gone bouncing back and uh, so they coming and um, and that's what we need to be prepared for and uh, and do whatever we can to to make us be developed be get more knowledge about what we can't see and most people don't hear and uh, and what is what have been because the what has been in the past is going, it's coming back. To, to, uh, in the future, it's coming back. Everything, it's the um, the law of the, the energy that everything is going to going back to balance, uh, be a balance, and. Um, and I have talking about the new order. It's not the new order is not what people think and say it is, but it's the balance. And uh, what have been is coming back and meeting the future uh, just now and here. And uh, it's a um, it's coming this man is coming now and I think he want to talk about what I was talking about this um, the case is coming back to Jesus that was his targeting 
what he want to talk about. And um, he say, I am Jesus, is saying that. And, uh, and I see him as um, a man in his about 35 years old. He's young. And uh, he's saying that to me. And uh, so please uh, explain for us a little more uh, what you are doing. What are you going to do? And uh, when are you coming to us? We waiting for you. We, we, we need you to come back. And um, it's this that the past is coming back. It's uh, about this. And um, so that he's talking about the moon. He said that uh, when the he's saying that uh, when the moon is is the biggest that you have ever seen. It's when I'm coming back, he say. It's going to be a sign in the sky about everything. Uh, people are going to be scared because things is going to be bigger. Is coming, but uh, it it is not a reality. It's an illusion, and it's an illusion uh, to give you a sign. So that's it's going to threat threat the world. What they are seeing. But it's not going to hurt you. It's going to be a sign that we will come back. And the, my, the angels before me, they, they are not going to show up uh, all over the world. They're going, going into people's home and talking to people that they they want to talk to and they are coming to places where there is no good when where they need to clean up and this is the he say that is those people in the bible it says the 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 people is laying clothes and the laying palm palm branches on his way when he's coming into Jerusalem and he say this is exactly the same what is going to be those people described people is not the people coming they is the angels and they coming uh, for to lay clothes on the road and the palm branches uh, when I coming into Jerusalem and that means uh, this I have not understood now he's saying this is the new re- Jerusalem. It's a, a new uh, order is going to be. It's not a frightened order. It's only going to be what it was meant to be from the beginning. If not greed had coming in. And uh, so that. Uh, is symbolic in the Bible when Jesus coming on the on the donkey, but uh, the 
the full the baby of a donkey. It's um. No, I don't remember the word for it, but uh, he is riding on a, on a donkey, a young donkey. It's not a baby. It's um, a donkey that is not more than two years old. It's a young but a grown up donkey, but a young one. That's what he coming coming riding on uh, to into Jerusalem to be the king of Jerusalem and that's uh, is, is symbolic uh, everything in the bible is symbolic it's a metaphor and um, this is how he's coming he's coming on a uh, on this young, so that uh, means uh, that is, it's a, it's a future things. It's a young thing that doesn't, maybe doesn't exist today, but it exists when he's coming. Uh, that donkey means that. That is not an old donkey. It's a, something that uh, the donkey means to uh, to move forward. It's a, like a vehicle, the airplane. It's the same thing. That it doesn't mean what it look like. It means that something is going forward a direction and uh, it's gonna be a, a new thing like the the donkey is not more than two years old so that's a new thing it's a donkey can be very old and um, so he's uh, talking about that and um, you are going with me, he said. Uh, you all that that listen to this podcast and uh, follow what uh, what Eva is talking about. If you follow her, you also follow me, he said. That's nice. Um, It's a. Um, I must take a little water. He's uh, doing something. He's going down and pick up something that I don't know really yet what it is because he still are bowing down to something he have a, like a, a sack with him and he take it out something and that is like a spike um, it's a uh, oh it's a whippet it's a whip to take out. It's a now he have it in his hand and um, it's falling out. So I can see it's a, there's something to whip people with. You say that it's what's start to be now. He say that this planet will be whipped. He say. This uh, what uh, what they show me the spirits what they show me is not uh, 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 literally showing. It's a symbolic showing for me, for me to understand 
what they are talking about. And um, and the, the, Jesus can look different than what he's showing me now. It's um, it's uh, only um, he's showing me like uh, like I th- he know that I I can tell that it's Jesus. But he he may be when he lived here on earth he maybe look not like he he's showing me now. If you understand that uh, they uh, they make like um, like a video a, a film for me to understand and. Uh, he say that uh, that uh, the earth will will be whipped. It's going on now, and it's going on more. So it is with the the vaccine that is now. It's a coming vaccine, and uh, it's around the world that people go and get the vaccine and. That can you only laugh about. He is saying. Jesus is saying this. You can only laugh about it. Because that. That doesn't mean anything. Because there are going to be more. Whipped. If, if they. Can. Uh, get out. Get it. Out from this vaccine, something good, then is is it good? But there will be not the solution on what will come, and it have come, and it will come more on this. On this planet, because they, those stubborn, need to soften up, be humble, and do what they are supposed to do, and turn to my father, to and turn to God, my father, he say, and um, and he say that. Uh, we are brother and sisters, and we we are created of the same father, every one of us. So we are brother and sisters, and um, one day we are going going back to be brother and sister, even if we today is enemies to each other everything is going back to what it was from the start when we all of us was with God we all was with God it was his thoughts his um, plan for this planet the we all was in his mind, his thinking. We were all with God once, and then we split up because it, the evil was on this planet. So we become enemies, and Abel and Cain. They were brothers, but they kill, and uh, and so have it been since then. Nothing is holy anymore. People go astray. Uh, I have cried many times over this planet. Say Jesus, and uh, 
There is a free will, he is telling. It's a free will. You all was born to know what's, what is good and what is bad. But there is evil things in in the world that make you make you turn away from from God, and um, they are they are running very very much their their. Their mission is is to deceive the whole world. So uh, we don't blame you. We in heaven we don't blame blame you. Uh, if we know, I know as your advocate that I am. I have to defend you many times because I know what is going on on earth because I lived on earth and I have you read read in the bible how much how much they did against me how much evil I faced when I was walking on earth the short time I was, I couldn't walk, walk so long time because it, it was, it, it was not like today. That's why I, I took Eva with me to Israel. She saw it. Only a little about what problem I had. She saw this. He want me to tell tell you. Um, I saw that uh, when we were going outside Jerusalem, and uh, I'd be amazed what I saw. I I understood what Jesus was going through because uh, I saw on the ground there was small, small pebbles. It was uh, it was not uh, it was not uh, it was a, l- a little more like rocks. It was not pebbles. It was not very small. But it was small enough to not get any firmament firmament to stay where they were, those stones, those rockets. And uh, it's when they walk on this rock up to, to the hills and to the caves up in the mountain that uh, when when they walk we say three steps they fall back two steps it uh, because it's rolling under them the there was no no road roads up to to the mountain there was small roads where the donkeys could go but it's it was not much to it's not it was not to every cave and um, and they 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 walking about three steps and, and two two steps they fall in back with their feet because the 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 ground was it's moving in in Israel and uh, they don't still today they they don't uh, do any roads there 
it's uh, it's laying those rocks up to the top of the to the mountain where the caves are where Jesus was walking and um, and he 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 said to me that he he couldn't go walk on this small narrow um, path up to the caves because um, in the darkness in the night that's where he could meet the uh, murderer thieves and so it was not to go on the smooth ways uh, in the night when he visit uh, visit to those that was not allowed to come into to Jerusalem those that was forbidden to come into cities they all was there up in the cave and that's where Jesus went to to be with them that was uh, was not uh, accepted in the cities that's where I am walking also symbolic because no one no one accept me I be, I am on my own and that's why Jesus is coming here now because he visit he visit uh, women and he visited those people that was not allowed to come into the cities he was uh, going and visit people that was odd that uh, the city have decided and that's that's what uh, the narrow gate was to to not only close out enemies in war it was also to close out uh, those people that was coming from the caves and wanted to come into the cities and those people was not allowed to come into the temple either they they were not allowed to do anything of what what those wealthy people did and those people that was accepted it's the same thing same t- thing today it's uh, and uh, it's gonna be this uh, in the last days now that the gates going to close and um, and they're going to stand s- military in the gate and uh, you have to show up it's now is it that you are going to show up a paper that you have taken the vaccine and you are going to maybe get some test you have to do to come enter into the city this is symbolic city it's a country it can be and uh, you are not allowed to come in to and uh, buy things uh, in the stores that's what's going on today just yes, now it's the same as as uh, I talk about to be accepted in the city to come to be allowed to come in and uh, those gates they had in the in the walls was almost closed very small narrow so the soldiers could uh, look at each person that come 
into the gate. So it was very controlling in Jesus' time, and it's controlling today also. So we can see that Jesus' time is coming back. And um, now he's showing me this, that he's going away. He's uh, holding, they all have that sign that they, they hold up their hand. And that means they, they say bye, bye. So they are going. And he's going now. And I thank you for coming through and talk to us. And uh, I get some knowledge from you, God, from Jesus. And thank you, God, for let Jesus coming also. Uh, because it's God's, it's God behind this. They can't do anything on their own. Uh, God have to allow them to come down and talk to me. So that in everything that it's God. Oh, so now the time to end up. I be uh, I was very uh, very sleepy yesterday when I recording because it was much spirit energy going on and and now we sit again it was much spirit now when I talking about the case and the small small rocks then I, I was into the spirit a, a little deeper. So it took much energy from me. So thank you for, for uh, listening to me. And I hope you coming back uh, and listen more. I'm going it's changed the whole time but uh, if it's going like I was thinking it should go today I was thinking I should talking about uh, more about my apartment with uh, those things that happen in, in the apartments it's uh, much much cleaner spirits now, but uh, when I move to those apartments in that house that is doomed, uh, that uh, it was evil spirits was was living there. So I'm glad I'm I'm not there anymore, and uh, I say that uh, that. That uh, Jesus was the brother of of Satan, and and Satan was the brother of Jesus, but uh, but those was also brother to us, because we all was once in God's mind before He started to create Earth. We were is in his his mind in his heart, and uh, he planned to create what he did created with his word. He created everything with his word, and that that's the first word was from God. It was not from Jesus as people saying so much God uh, say that everything he created he say that with his words and he saw it was good everything he did so it was good but uh, yeah, on this planet there was evil already 
when God created everything on earth. It was not uh, it was not void of uh, evil things. It was void of God. God have not seen it. And maybe he sh- he was thinking that he should don't care about this planet. But then he have mercy on us. On on this planet, he, he was mercy on this planet, and placed his people here on Earth. And that uh, it is like many say that Earth is a test place to see who is pulling through, who is strong enough to could hold this uh, whatever going or around in the world and in our life we stand firm we don't go away from God instead we go closer to God in the bad times we go closer to God and not going away from God So thank you for listening and God bless you. Thank you.